What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. Today we're switching it up and I'm trying out something I've wanted to do for a while guys But before we even get into it, make sure you keep watching because some of this stuff I'm about to show you is just insane So I was on reddit this morning and found this subreddit called r slash insane parents Which was trending and wow is it just full of pure gold So we're gonna check it out with some of the best posts from there first things first Let's start off with a bang shall we? I'm looking forward to my daughter and her fiance visiting for the weekend. Her room is on the right and the guest room is on the left. You can see here where dad will be sleeping. And yes, that is a 12 gauge shotgun propped up in the corner. Yikes, bro. Yeah, like I said, this was called insane parents. So I guess that's pretty dang accurate here. I'm telling you right now, though, if I go to my fiance's parents house to stay for a vacation to, I don't know, meet them or hang out and they pull this, yeah, I'm walking out and probably calling off the marriage right there and getting a motel room somewhere close. Why they gotta be so strict like that? I mean, you already got them sleeping in separate rooms, especially as a soon-to-be married couple. Now you gotta have her dad sleeping in the hallway with a freaking shotgun on deck. Like, bro, imagine walking into the middle of the night and you gotta use the bathroom or something, and in your sleepy days, you just forget he's out there, and you're met with a 12-gauge round right to your chest. Guys, just chill out, okay? You don't gotta be doing this much to the poor guy. He's just out here trying to meet you and, I don't know, try to bond with his mother and father-in-law. If anything, you guys should be hyped that he's even over there and trying to meet with you guys and not be threatening him with violence or shooting him if he even leaves his room in the middle of the night. Like, that's honestly a big yikes for me right there because I feel like parents that do this are just so try-hard. They go out of their way to try to instill fear into this guy. You know that he's obviously serious about treating your daughter well if he's engaged to her, so I really don't get the logic here. Help! Anyone have a boy six and set on any ground rules for dating yet? I need any and all advice I can get. Some say no dating to older. Some say ask girls on chaperone dates. Any opinions welcome and thanks in advance. Um, lady, yeah, how about just not having to set any ground rules in the first place because your kid is literally six years old and probably won't even talk to girls for like another five more years. Seriously, he's still probably in that phase where he thinks girls have cooties and doesn't even want to go anywhere near them. The kid just wants to play with Legos and, I don't know, do Fortnite dances. Like they got the cheese touch or something in his mind, he just doesn't want to go anywhere near these girls. You don't got to worry about laying ground rules as if he's some kid in high school. He probably just started kindergarten. How about you chill out and just wait it out? You're probably stressing your poor kid out with all this girlfriend talk. I caught my son playing his Xbox at 12 in the morning on a school night. As a result, I broke his console and now he won't talk to me. How can I tell him that it is his fault? Yeah, I love how the question here isn't, how can I get my son to forgive me for being such a stupid parent and not hate me? But nah, she just still thinks she's in the right here. I mean, imagine just grinding out some prestiges on COD one night and you know, you stay up a little bit later than normal, but your parent just comes in and destroys your console right in front of you. Like, I'd be fuming, bro. But then on top of that, they have to try to convince you it was your fault somehow. Um, nah, how about you just give me my console back, all right? The funniest thing here is that the parent is probably the one that bought the console for the kid in the first place, so there goes like 300 of your own money, you idiot. How about talking to your kid like a normal parent should? I know that's a really wild idea in 2019, but it might be better than destroying your own expensive property that you just bought, just to prove a point. So this next picture, guys, does not have any caption, but I think it's the image that got this subreddit trending today, because it was upvoted over 13,000 times and it was just posted yesterday, so I'm guessing this kid got caught lying about something. as. I'm sure most of you guys realize they're kids and they're kind of known to do that. I mean, his mom literally just took this way too far and I guess she wanted to shave the word liar into the back of this kid's head. Does she realize all that she's doing here is just humiliating her poor kid for, I don't know, at least three weeks until his hair grows out. And she's just making herself look like the world's most cruel mom in public wherever she takes him. Like, I'd probably go up to her and tell her that if I saw this poor kid out and about in the public, and I'd buy him one of those pastries as an apology on her behalf, because this poor kid is just gonna have to shave his head bald at some point, all to avoid having this, because who wants to have the word liar on their face? I mean, even with a hat, that thing's gonna be poking out. Let's get a big F in chat for our boy right there. This next one I gotta read in a southern accent because the way he types it out just totally sounds like he's gonna be from the south. And I mean, I'm pretty sure most of the flat earthers in America are gonna be from the south, no offense y'all. Hey y'all, this is my first day in the group and I just wanted to start off with a rant about my GD kids are learning in school. They came home talking about how the earth rotates around the sun and let me tell you, I was fired up. I need some advice on how to reason with my kids. How do I explain to my sons that the earth is flat and the only thing flatter is the chest of that dumb girl he keeps bringing home? All right, first things first, that got real weird there at the end. I'm sorry about that. Listen, whoever this is, you don't gotta be throwing shade to the itty bitty titty committee, all right? Flat chested girls need love too, but besides that, what do you mean reason with your kid about how the earth is flat? Yeah, the school is teaching him actual science in science class. Screw them, right? 
Like, yeah, they should be teaching my kid unproven conspiracy theories that have no factual basis. Listen, if y'all out here actually thinking the Earth is flat non-ironically or just to get attention, you need your head realigned. But Grim, why does the horizon look flat when I look out? Listen, you freaking moron, the Earth is not flat, and I think it's hilarious that his dad or mom, whoever this is that posted it, is just so tilted that their kid was being taught this. Of course, it's one of those parenting groups you always find in these subreddits because most of these posts are just insane parents on Facebook and their little groups about essential oils that they need to use on their kid when they have like a serious illness as if they're basting a turkey. It's kind of sickening to be honest, but for some reason it's getting bigger and bigger on Facebook. <laughs> Apparently some of these parents just have too much time on their hands and try to just, I guess, disprove science. But still funny to see how dumb some of these people are. So my mom wants me to give her $3,000 a month or else she'll sue me slash report my channel. First of all, I don't even have that much money. No one in my boyfriend's family can hand you out that sum of money unless this is a new form of suicide. Like what the hell, I can't, it just leaves me speechless. Yes, mom, you have 152 IQ, but that doesn't make up for character. So apparently this one is from a YouTuber. The name has been censored as per the subreddit's rules, but I mean, it sounds like their mom is trying to ride this wave of clout that she's on. You know, maybe she sees all these YouTubers out here giving their parents cars, but I mean, they have millions of subs and actually have the money to be able to do that. And she thought to herself, hey, my kid has like 100K subs. She should at least be giving me some money to live off of each month. I have 152 IQ, I mean, I'm way smarter than my dumb kid, and she's pretty much an internet superstar. That's straight up insane though, like imagine doing so well at your job and you're finally prospering and making some dough and your parent just tries to force you to give them all of your money or else you have to move out. I mean, I'm guessing this person is just younger and you know, doesn't have the ability to just up and move out at all. But yo, side note, mom and dad, if you see this, don't be trying to pull anything slick, all right? I'm broke, okay? Don't be getting any ideas. Hey, you guys made it pretty far into this video, so before we move on, I'm gonna have to ask you to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell, and if you can do that all in the next five seconds, you'll wake up to your parents giving you 3,000 in cash. It's like that one YouTube girl we heard about earlier, but I guess the other way around. Enjoy the free money. Side note, don't actually ask your parents for money like that, guys. Just like the video, all right? Anyways, on with the rest of the video. So, Blank said that you took some pills while he was there. Yeah, I took my epilepsy medication. I prefer to be conscious instead of on the floor. I don't appreciate you doing drugs in front of my child. You know, medication is just a crutch. You need to show Blank that being well is just mind over matter. Oh, guys, I don't even know where to start on this one. So, I guess the person was babysitting this first person's kid in this text chain, and of course had to take medication for their epilepsy, which is very normal. I mean, you need that in order to not just have a seizure and possibly die, but apparently that wasn't cutting it for this other person who just demands, do not take pills in front of my kid. Yeah, okay, let me just lay down and pass out with an epileptic seizure. That'll scare the kid a lot less than seeing someone take medication, which is literally one of the most normal things of all time. What a little snitch kid too. I mean, I guess he or she has probably just been raised to report all this stuff to their parents because they're so hypersensitive about it. But I mean, that's just so ridiculous. To even request, don't take these pills and show this kid that, quote, being well is just mind over matter. Because you can definitely just get over any illness or disease if you just really think to yourself, I'm well, I don't have this illness or disease, I'm just gonna think my way out of it. I mean, I'm guessing this parent has 150 plus IQ just like the last one because apparently they can just rearrange their cellular makeup and change anything they want in themselves by just choosing mind over matter. That's what's kind of crazy to me is there is so much like science and just things that we have researched for years to help people live and now all of a sudden all these moms are Facebook are just not having any of that. You know, they think these people that went to school for eight plus years in college that are probably way smarter than them just don't understand what's going on and they know because they found these essential oils that's gonna help their kid. Now, I mean, I hope you guys see where I'm coming from on this because it's not necessarily me grilling these parents. I just think a lot of people are really doubtful of science and it's kind of worrying me because this direction we're heading is really weird, but I guess I'm getting into a rant here. All in all, if you're crazy and you're a parent, you gotta just stay off Facebook because if not, you might get posted to this subreddit and a lot of people will be making fun of you, including me. Ugh, so all in all, that about does it for me today, guys. That's enough insane parents in my opinion. The point of this video wasn't to make fun of these kids, by the way. It was entirely just flaming their parents for being literally insane, as the title says, and then going to post about it on Facebook where the whole world can see. 
guys, I've been really wanting to make a Reddit recap type video for a while, so let me know if you want to see more. And if you do, let me know of specific subreddits that you think would be good for a video. I mean, I already have a ton in mind, but there's always ones I might have overlooked, so let me know in the comments below. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and until then, peace out.